What is up guys, this is Kiran here, welcome back to Tech Kiran YouTube channel. Chorus OS which is based on Android version 10 is available for mere tool devices like Redmi Note 9s, Redmi Note 9 Pro, Redmi Note 9 Pro Max and Poco M2 Pro. It's available officially for a lot of devices of course and if you want to install the official build, the link for the official website is in the description. You can download the official build for your device if it is supported and if you are a Redmi Note 9 Pro and Redmi Note 9s Poco M2 Pro or a Redmi Note 9 Pro Max user, you can install this unofficial build which is quite great. I'm going to share with you which, how's the performance, how's the battery backup, a lot more things in this video. Stay tuned and make sure to watch this video till the end. Let's get started. Guys, as I already told you that this is the unofficial build. You can see Android version 10. It's based on Android version 10, which is not actually the latest one. Like the latest one is Android version 11, but Android 10 is honestly quite stable. We already know about that. Corvus version a 10.0 stable unofficial device me at all. Which means, yes, you can install this on all the mutual devices like Redmi Note Nest, Note 9 Pro, Note 9 Pro Max, and Poco M2 Pro. You can see the latest change log from here. We have the maintainer available, and you can see October security patch is available. Also, let me tell you one thing that the kernel version is changed here. I have installed the custom kernel called Yuki kernel here, and that's why my performance is improved, including the battery backup too. So, if you want, if you are looking for a very good kind of performance with a very good kind of battery backup in on Corvus OS then UP kernel might be an option for you and if we talk about some things in this custom room this custom room come with the Corvus launcher pre-installed which of course you can replace like in my case I have replaced it from the launcher which is a systemless launcher pre-installed in my case from a magisk module I can simply move on to home settings and let me show you this kind of options I have because the launcher of course, it's based on Pixel Launcher and has a lot of customizations, a very good kind of alternative of Pixel Launcher. So that's why I've installed this one. And of course, I'm a big fan of Pixel kind of things. Swipe right, I don't have anything because I don't have installed a Google app here. So that's why there's no Google feed. But honestly, the ROM is quite smooth. It's really, really smooth. Using it from some time, didn't got any major issues. Almost everything seems working here. Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, Torch, and some things like that. Everything seems working without any bugs at all. And talking about some things, if you go for the bat is uh, power menu, we have the advanced option available. So yes, you can simply boot into custom recovery. Even you can restart your system here if you want to. This is the default wallpaper which you get here. And if you go for the styles and wallpapers, we don't get any extra options available. You can install styles and wallpapers app from the Google Play store if you want to customize this one if we talk about some things in this custom room you can see my status bar icons i have the wo wi-fi icon available which means the device is now supporting the wi-fi calling which is quite great and i'm using two sims alongside with the wi-fi my battery percentage is 33 percent right now let me show you my battery stats and honestly this kind of battery stats are quite amazing 33% left here and let me show you my screen on time it's more than 9 hours and also let me tell you the device was a 95% charge which means you can say 62% of battery drainage with plus 9 hours of screen on time honestly it's quite great i've used the hotspot also wi-fi calling is available too and using it from past 9 hours as a screen time last full charge 13 hours ago the battery backup is quite stable so which means you can easily get more than 13 hours or maybe close to 14 hours but also it depends upon how how much you use your device like how you use your device how much games you played and how much time you use 4g network or some things like that depends on uh, depends upon a lot of things in my case you, you'll see the rough idea of battery backup that i am getting approximately of 13 hours or 14 hours screen on time very easily because of 33 percent still left and it's already plus nine hours so yes i will get 13 hours to 14 hours approximately and like this you can also get a lot of good kind of battery backup with the yuki kernel if you have installed it on your device Talking about the customizations, we already know that Corvus OS comes with some cool kind of customizations. 
the theme section is available where you can customize the ASIN color you can customize the fonts there are a lot of fonts available as expected we have the Google Sense which is one of my favorite one we have the LG Smart Gothic and some other things like that icon shape customization quick settings status bar quick setting header style switch style and system theme some themes customizations are quite amazing including that some relevance layer customizations notifications miscellaneous and some things like that which you can customize if you want to but other things seem same here if you go for the security option yes the face lock the app lock everything which you need in your daily life is available here so this is a very cool kind of choice for you to install Corvus OS as your daily driver on a device and using it from past approximately 48 hours I am fully satisfied with this build and of course Android 10 builds are quite stable right now if you compare it with the Android 11 builds. So if you look over daily driver room this one is one of the good choice for you go and install this build let me tell you one thing if you want to install the banking apps if you want to use the banking apps unfortunately you will not be able to like this google pay can't be used on this device so unfortunately sorry if you are looking for android if you're looking for a room which has the banking apps working corvus os is not one of them so banking apps might not work for you so that's why we're using the paytm which is working fine here paypal is working fine here so if you want to use the google pay like if you're an indian user and want to use a google pay of course that will not work for you so you have to survive without that other things i've already shown you these were the things i just wanted to share with you i hope you like it if you like it don't forget to drop a like and also comment if you have any queries thanks for watching and goodbye